Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have y prime equals xy divided by x squared plus y squared. And we're going to be looking for y. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, first of all, I'm going to write y prime as dy over dx. First of all, take a look at this equation. It, does this look separable to you? In other words, if I write this as dy over dx and then set it equal to xy over x squared plus y squared, can I put the y's on one side and x's on the other side so the y's don't contain x's and vice versa? It's not possible. At least as is, this is not a separable differential equation. But one thing that will help us a little bit here is first to flip both sides. Now, a lot of times we talk about these things like is dy over dx a fraction it is maybe it's not but it acts like a fraction so we can go ahead and flip both sides dx over dy is just going to be x squared plus y squared over xy and then we can kind of split it up the idea is to get the product in the denominator so we can separate the split it into two fractions so this is going to become x squared over xy plus y squared over xy here we can cancel some terms, x squared, one of these is going to cancel out, y squared, one of these is going to cancel out. So we end up with something interesting, dx over dy equals x over y plus y over x. Awesome. Now, at this point, obviously, we may use substitution, right? How do you want to use it? No big deal. I'm going to call the first expression u, okay? so that x over y will be u and from here x will be y u now notice that i wrote this as dx over dy so i'm kind of treating x as a function of y instead of y as a function of x which is dy over dx right and we kind of need to think about it this way like for example the answer could be something like x equals y squared minus y plus one makes sense x is a function of y or it could be x equals cosine y as opposed to y equals cosine x get it Okay, great. Now, obviously, we're talking about inverse functions here. And let's see what we can do. Now, since I have x in terms of uh, y and u, we can differentiate both sides with respect to y, of course. Because always keep this in mind, we're going to try to get to dx over dy. So if you differentiate both sides with respect to y, you have to think about it this way. x is a function of y and u is also a function of y so we kind of how do you differentiate the product of course dy over dy is just one so the derivative of y is just going to be one multiplied by u plus the derivative of u times the first function y awesome so we kind of got the derivative of x from here or dx over dy but we also have something else take a look at this dx over dy can also be written as u plus one over u right that's what we got after the substitution at the same time it's equal to u plus u prime y you like that let's find out this is awesome because now it'll turn into a separable equation notice that this is a product and we can separate them now let's go ahead and write the u prime of course this is what i got and now i'm going to replace u prime with du over dy again we're always differentiating with respect to y not x right so let's go ahead and put the u terms on the same side so it's going to be like u du equals dy over y right if you put the dy here and now we're going to divide by y and then u and du will be multiplied make sense cool let's go ahead and integrate both sides now this is going to be fun if you integrate u du you're going to get u squared divided by 2. I'm not going to put the constant here. And then this will become ln y. And then let's put a constant. Awesome. What is u though, right? What is u? What are you? Who are you? So u is x over y. So now at this point, we can go ahead and replace u with x over y. And then just try to solve for whatever. So, so this is going to become x squared over y squared divided by 2. So x squared over 2y squared equals ln y plus c. And then I can kind of isolate x squared from here and write it as 2y squared ln y plus 2c y squared. Again, 2c is a constant. You can replace it with k. 
and kind of write this as x squared equals 2y squared ln y plus ky squared. So that should be the answer, right? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and hold on to this because obviously this doesn't give us x in terms of y, it just gives x squared. But what, one of the things you can do is if you want to consider that everything is positive, you can find x by taking the square root of both sides. But of course, we also have to consider the case that it could be a negative quantity. So let's go ahead and put these together nicely. 2y squared ln y plus ky squared. Of course, this is going to come with a plus minus sign. And again, I kind of ignore the absolute value because I don't like writing it, but you can go into depth, okay? So this seems to be the solution, but notice that x in terms of y. How do you find y in terms of x? That would be a really, really good question. Let's go ahead and look at this from a second method perspective, okay? So here's the second method. One more time. Our equation is y prime equals x o x y over x squared plus y squared. So with the first method, we were able to name x over y something. So that should give you an idea. And we can do this directly. So in other words, we can kind of replace y with something like tx. You could also use ux, but I want to use that one. And differentiate y with respect to x. Notice that t is going to be a function of x in this case. So we can kind of derivative of t times x plus the derivative of x, which is 1 times t. So in other words, y prime can be written as t prime x plus t. Awesome. That's something we're going to use because we have y prime. And we're going to place y with tx here and here. Let's do it. x t prime, I want to write the x first, plus t equals. Now I'm going to place y with tx and y with tx. It's going to be t squared x squared. This gives us x squared. So let's go ahead and x squared times t, and then we'll factor out an x squared, and this will become 1 plus t squared. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the x squared. That was the whole idea, because this is a homogeneous equation. Make sense? Awesome. Now we got the following, x t prime plus t equals t over 1 plus t squared. Of course, I'm supposed to subtract t from both sides, so I can get rid of this and write the dt uh, t prime as dt over dx. That's going to be equal to t minus t minus t cubed divided by 1 plus t squared. t cancels out. We end up with negative t cubed over 1 plus t squared. So this kind of looks like a difficult integral, even though it's not that difficult. If you had this integral, by the way, how would you integrate this? You could use tangent, right? t equals tangent theta. Hopefully you could do that. But we don't have it. We have the opposite. Why? Because we're going to bring this over here to the dt side. So it's going to look like this. The negative of 1 plus t squared divided by t cubed times dt is going to be dx over x. And now we can go ahead and integrate both sides. That's going to give us the integral of this. But how do you integrate that? It's negative t to the power negative 3 minus t to the power negative 1. Or you can write it as 1 over t, right? So how do you integrate this? Easy. Now this is going to be x plus c. And to integrate t to the power negative 3, all you have to do is add 1 to the exponent and divide by that resulting exponent. So it's going to be like this. Of course, there's a minus sign, so we have to consider that. This is going to be t to the power negative 2 divided by negative 2. The negatives are going to cancel out. And this will be ln t one more time without using the shamelessly without using the absolute value sign. You can figure that out. And now I'm going to be getting something like 1 over t squared minus ln t equals x plus c. Great. What can I do with this? I could probably just make a common denominator. 1 minus t squared ln t divided by t squared equals x plus c. And then we could probably subtract c from both sides to get the x by itself. But wait a minute, what is t, right? Uh, I'd like to know. So maybe after doing this, we can go ahead and take care of that. By the way, adding, uh, subtracting a constant is the same as adding uh, an other constant, which is the opposite. So we can write it like this. And now we can replace t with what? t is y over x, right? Because y is equal to tx. So y, t is y over x, y over x squared times ln y over x divided by t squared plus k. 
Now, I want you to go ahead and compare this to the result from the first method. Do you think they're going to be the same? And how? In which ways? <laughs> Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.